Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. And today I've got something that I don't do too many of. This is a used Class A motorhome. And as you can see, the full body paint job is looking beautiful with that burgundy that fades out to black depending on which angle you're at with kind of more neutral tones. So I really like seeing that. But this is a 2017 Tiffin Allegro Open Road 34 PA under 18,000 miles on this coming with a sale price of $120,000. So I'll put my cell phone number in the top right. If this is something that you're interested in, please reach out to me. I would love to work with you. And if not, hit that like and subscribe button for future RV content. I try to make as many of these videos as I possibly can. Now, since this is a used unit and I can't use it all year long for taking orders and all that, I'm gonna do a little bit of a shorter tour today, probably somewhere around eight minutes. But I wanna go ahead and show you what this thing is all about. So that way you can decide, you know, if this is something that you're interested in. But let's go ahead and run right on inside. Again, it's the 2017 Allegro Open Road 34 PA by Tiffin. So this is definitely a high-end gas motorhome. This thing is fantastic. Right when you walk in, you see you have those dark brown tones. So I love that. A lot of those in the modern, uh, you know, the newer year models, they're going like light and bright. And this still has those kind of those, those dark rich tones. I don't know how else to explain that, but man, it looks sharp. Overhead storage, a slide right when you walk in. So it makes this really open feel that's really fantastic for those rainy days or when you're having guests over, there is plenty of room to move around. The flooring on this looks great with that hand laid tile. Doesn't get much better than that, but you'll see you also get a TV and an electric fireplace that puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So even though it is small uh, in appearance, it puts out some pretty darn good heat. So on a day it's 45, 50 degrees, it'll heat the entirety of this coach, you know, absolutely no problem before you even have to kick on that propane. So in addition to the slide that I just showed you, you have another slide here on the opposite side, and this is going to be in that super slide category. So it starts right here and works all the way back to that refrigerator. So that is awesome. Gives it a really nice open feel once again. I mean, look at that hallway. That is in a motor home. That is awesome. This is a home on wheels, kind of like a luxury high-end apartment, you know, something like that. More cabinetry coming up here into the front into what I would like to call the cockpit area. You see you got a TV in there and also notice you get the, the day shade and the Dracula shade to block out all the sun, you know, just keep some nosy eyes out, mitigate some of that sun from coming in in general. You know, just a really nice finish to it. I love how Tiffin does everything. Even their cabinetry, let me show you this. It's all handmade down in Tiffin, uh, down in Alabama. But look at that, it's a true hard wood. It's got these really sturdy hinges, so everything is nice and hands-free. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But it doesn't get much better, and it snaps into place. So, I mean, it's got some it's got some yank to it, which is pretty good. Just a high-end feel for it. This is going to be on the Ford chassis, the V10. Again, it is a gas coach, 18,000 miles, under 18,000. But you got all your controls right up here. You know, your Gen Start, basic Ford. And then right here, you know, your nightshades for the front, which is going to be right there that you can see. But everything right up in one central location, along with a couple cup holders. And then this right here makes a little pullout so you can eat. I also enjoy how there's nothing right behind this. So you can really lay down, kick back, and chill when you're in travel mode. There's not a slide button up against it. And there's also not, you know, any sort of wall or anything protruding. You're also going to get the soft touch ceiling here, which is always a big time plus. I like having that. It's a little bit of sound deadening. But in general, it's just a nicer high-end luxury finish that you would expect in a Tiffin. Overhead storage, again, going down this slide, but you also got a table for two. So that way, you know, you can sit down, play some cards, have some breakfast. You're also going to see a lot of storage there as well. This is going to be your kitchen center. So you see, you get a lot of pull-out drawers. Check that out. And you notice they're really nice and sturdy. They're in there really good. They're well built. They snap into place. But right here is going to be your oven. So you get a three stove top burner right there. And then it doesn't have an oven here on this model, but you do get the convection microwave right there. So you can still do some cooking on the road. Absolutely no problem. And I love how the countertops match across everything. You get your high rise faucet whoosh, 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 hitting those dishes from all angles, but this is going to be your dual sink. So this is going to be a single stainless steel undermounted bowl with the split there in the middle for maybe like a wet and a dry zone for when you're doing dishes. 
real tiles with the grout back there. So just another high end finish. You're also going to see you get an outlet so you can plug in whatever you need. And then, I mean, look at the top, the storage on that. It's absolutely incredible. You also get an absolutely massive Whirlpool refrigerator. Who doesn't need more space in the refrigerator? You know, I know I sure do. This is going to be just as big in a lot of people's houses, you know, if not bigger. And then the freezer section on this too. You also notice you got yourself a little ice maker. So this is truly home on the road, which is definitely a big time plus. It's even got nice little artwork there. So how nice is that? So right here is going to be your controls for your AC, which by the way, I do have running right now. And you notice it is not getting in the way of me speaking to you. You could probably barely even hear it there on the camera, which is always a plus. It's also going to be some of your slide controls are right here. But in general, this is kind of the, this is kind of the home zone right there. Use that for what you will. I'd probably use it as like a little spice rack or putting some random knickknacks here and there. Bedroom right over here, but I want to show you this first. This is going to be the bathroom. And the reason why I want to show it to you first is you got dual access into the bedroom, which is nice. If you have guests, you know, sleeping out here in what I would call the main area, you know, the living room, maybe on that couch, they have their own kind of private entrance. So that way you don't have to worry about them going through your room, you know, or anything like that. But check out all the space that is in this bathroom. It's definitely pretty darn incredible. You even got the porcelain throne that's on an angle. So even if you're a roundy like me, you can sit down and do your business with absolute ease. And then you got a pretty good size shower here as well with the Triglide glass series. So that way it opens up, you know, just a little bit higher. And then right here, it's pretty darn cool. I'm getting used to these motorhomes, but that is a skylight that has the LED light that's blocked into it that you can peel that back and let natural lighting come in. So whether it's you know, nighttime or daytime, you are good to go. And then for size reference, you know, I'm six feet tall, 300 pounds. I fit in here just fine. So, you know, you can get showering. You're also going to see you got the fully stackable washer and dryer. So that is definitely a big time perk there as well. You got a couple places where you can put, you know, maybe like a towel and then some additional storage. And then you have true solid surface countertops all throughout every Tiffin product. And then you also get the old porcelain uh, porcelain sink, which is a plus two. Easy access to your plumbing for maintenance. You also got a, plenty of storage down there and a little TP holder. You got a mirror. Use that as a medicine cabinet. Check out the old bowling gun, baby. And now off into the bedroom. So right over here, you're going to have a queen bed. Looks pretty darn sharp. You also got room on either side to plug in a couple things. So you have outlets there in the back corners, and then you're also going to get USBs on both sides too to charge up your devices along with a little bit of storage. You also see you got windows and some reading lights. Both of those open up for a nice cross breeze, and you got massive storage. So I'm six feet tall with average size arms, and I can't even reach the end of that. So incredible storage space right there. You also get a residential feel in the form of a, um, a fan. Vanity slide as well, which I like. It just opens up that room. Again, everything is really roomy in this model, which is something that I can greatly appreciate. But you can get ready in there and get dressed. Absolutely no problem. You're going to have four of your dresser drawer setups, along with maybe like a little working space or, you know, put something there, put a laptop. That's probably what I would do. A lot of people are disconnecting and working on the road, but it's also an emergency exit. So pull, push and pop and you can get out in a hurry. Absolutely massive closet for all of your hanging items. Pack a week's or two worth of clothes in there, no problem. You got an LG TV that's sitting on a swivel. You got some of your controls and a DVD player. And then more dresser space. But all right, guys, I know the tour was quick, but I just wanted to show it because once this thing is sold, it is gone. Again, it's the 2017 Allegro Open Road 34 PA. If you guys are in the market, Text my cell phone number, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. Have a great night. See ya.